two big sacks fulls of stuff and I only ended up spending $24. So stay tuned to see everything I got. Hey guys, my name is Missy and I'm a full-time reseller, a thrifter, a picker, or better yet, a treasure hunter. I love digging and hunting for treasures in the wild, just searching for that perfect piece. You can find me picking garage shells, thrift shops, flea markets, and yes, even some curbs. So come along on this adventure and let's go do some picking. Hey guys, it's Missy with Junk To Be Loved and I am back with another haul video for you guys today. This is a haul from a couple days ago. I'm late getting it out, but it, this is a haul from the bins video you seen a couple days ago I posted when I went and thrifted at the Goodwill bins. And like I said, I only ended up spending $24, so not too bad. I'm gonna show you everything I got right now. I got two big sacks fulls of stuff, so exciting. All right, let's just get into it. So the first thing that I picked up was this new old stock Donald Duck um, soft calculator, still in its package, never opened, um, from 1996. So I thought that was pretty cool and fun. It's a neat piece. And then you seen me find a blow mold. Of course, I'm gonna pick these up when I find them. I believe this is Empire. Um, yep, 1996 or five. 1995, I think it says. Um, Empire blow mold. So pretty cool, love it. Really good condition. And then I picked up this. Now, this is really cool. This is a mason jars. Um, this is glass. It's glass on both sides, and it's a tea light candle. Oh, I forgot I stuck that in there. It's a tea light candle holder, as you can see. And it says mason jars. I just thought that was really cool. I think this would be neat all lit up with candles inside. And it was from Farm. Oh, the glass just fell out. <laughs> I didn't realize the glass just slides in and out of there. Um, but let me just get back in there and hold those in. But it was from Farmhouse for $28.99. So, heck yeah, that was a pretty good find in the bins. And then I did pick up a Goosebump book. I always pick these up when I find them in the bins because they barely weigh anything. And when you lot these in lots, they sell for decent money. So always be on the lookout for the vintage Goosebump books. I did pick up a bag of vintage buttons. I This is how it came. I didn't even open it up and look and see what's all in there, but... Um, it doesn't weigh a whole lot, and there's like some sewing buttons and all kinds of just different things in there, so I thought that was cool. And then I found a whole bunch of new old stock Avon, which is really cool. Um, I don't ever pick up Avon, ever, hardly ever, but I thought these were really neat like the graphics on the box. See, aren't they cool? And you can see they're kind of like 3D, how they stick out a little bit. So I thought they were neat. There's a whole bunch of different things in here, like perfumes and some, one of these says toilet water, which I thought that was pretty cool. You know, like there's just all kinds. There's lipsticks. A whole bag. I thought that would be fun to sell as a lot. And then I did find this little beaded clutch type thing. Um, it's in good condition. It still has its vintage label made in Belgium. So that's neat. And it's pretty, and I appreciate all the beaded work. It's really nicely done. 
And then what fell out of that mason's jar candle holder, I stuck this metal flower frog in there. I was able to find a metal flower frog, which was exciting. Those are very hard to find in the bins. Like I very rarely find them. And then I found this old doll, which, see, she's older. Look at her face. And what's neat, she's like a pick. So I don't know if she was like a cake topper or what she stuck in. Maybe a flower arrangement or something. I don't know. But she don't have legs. She just has a pick. <laughs> so I thought that was pretty cool. I like her face. And then this was one of my favorite things that I had found in the bins. Absolutely love finding um, vintage kitschy Christmas. I think it's so fun. This is a cardboard angel. And what's unique about this one, I thought it said made in Japan, but it doesn't. It says Japan made. Can you see that sticker on the inside of that cardboard? I thought that was awesome. So I love her. I think she's so fun and kitschy and adorable. And then I picked up this tin, which again, I thought was awesome. The old curiosity shop. And look, it's got like antiques and stuff in there. Isn't that neat? Such a cool old tin. I think that's so much fun and awesome. I love the graphics on there and it's neat. And there is a YouTube channel. I'm having a brain fart right now, but it's can't remember his name. It's the old curiosity shop. I feel bad because I can't remember his name. And then I picked up some of these molds to stick into a, um, a uh, treasure bag. Oh, and then I did pick up this stinking cute, adorable little piggy. She's in a bikini. Look at her. She's flashy. I love her. The seductive pig. <laughs> She's in really, really good condition. She is an Esco, as you could see. And I love her. She's fabulous. And then, unfortunately, I was only able to find one. And it does have some paint loss, some scratches on it and stuff. But I didn't want to leave it behind. Because it's stinking cute and adorable. It's a naked baby in a bathtub holding a frog. Isn't that so cute? It is Sexton, by the way. A, a really good brand to look out for. Especially if you find the set of three um, Siamese kitties. These are like cast iron wall decor pieces. And if you find those set of three kitties, oh my goodness, pick them up. That is a bolo on eBay. That was like the second thing I ever sold on eBay was the set of three kittens. I got them for the set of three less than 50 cents and for the whole set and sold them on eBay like within a few days for over $100. So that's what got me hooked. It was awesome. And then I picked up these. Now these are not old. There's a whole bunch of these in the bag. They're not old. Um, they're just made to look old, but I didn't want to leave them behind. They are so fun. They're postcards, see? And they're so much fun. Look at them. Oh my gosh, so stinking cute. There's all, there's, they're all different. Look at that birdie. Aren't they so cute? Oh my gosh. Adorable. So there's so many, like I said, there's a whole entire stack here. Um, oh, there's even puppies if you like, if you're a puppy. If you like the puppies. So I thought they were really cool. I did not want to leave them behind at all. There's a whole stack. They're all different. Really stinking cute, adorable postcards. And then I did find a really awesome vintage scarf for the linen, um, for the linen bag. I like to do linen bags, like pick up different linens and stuff out of the bins that catch my eye and just lot them all up in a bag and sell them that way. And I love this piece. 
I love the colors. I think the red and the pink usually don't go good together, but this does. And it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous scarf. So I was happy to pick that up. Plus it's in good condition. And then I stuck this in there to stick in a linen, the same, you know, linen thing, the linen bag. It's brand new, still has its um, tags, and I just thought it was cute for fall, so. Why not pick those linens up when they barely weigh anything, you know? And then I did find this guy, stinking cute. He is not old. I thought he said a date on the back of him, but I can't read it. Um, He's not old, obviously. He's plastic, but he's so cute sitting cross-legged, and I just did not want to leave him behind. I like these stinking cute little elves, and I just thought he was adorbs. And I found a vintage Anna Lee ornament from 1981. It says 1981 on its tag. It's just a little vintage Anna Lee ornament, Santa head. And then I did find a bunch. Oh, here's more of these molds. I knew I found more of them. Um, I did find a whole bunch of trolls, which is super, super exciting. I love finding trolls and picking them up when I find them. Um, they're, they're all scattered all over here in the sack, so I'll just show you them when I come across them, but they're so cool. And I did pick up a Northwestern hat. It is a vintage hat. It's got a pin on it. It does have its vintage label, and the foam and everything is still in good condition. It's just worn in, and ready to be worn again. So I thought that was cool. That railroad hat. And then I did find a Polly Pocket. Now I think this is a vintage one. Um, I did find two more that were newer and I gave them to another lady who, you know, does the new stuff. But it still has its little Polly figures in here. This one, I don't see a date on it, which is so strange. I don't know. Usually they're marked with a date, I thought, somewhere. No, I don't know. Cool, little Polly, little Polly pocket. And then this is probably one of my favorite things that I found. I absolutely freaking love it so much. Um, it is a mermaid toilet paper roll holder. Now I looked these up when I was at the bins and one literally just sold, um, not too long ago for $20. So that was a no brainer to pick this up because I only spent $24 on everything that I found and she's awesome. Love her. Look at all the detail. She's so stinking awesome. So that was an awesome find. More linens for the linen bag. Little doilies, crocheted doilies. A Tweety Bird and Sylvester bandana from 1996, it says on there. So that'll go into the linen the linen bag. This was super exciting. I did find a dream pet, which I'm not for sure if this one is technically a dream pet. Um, it is made in Japan. It doesn't say dream pet, but it does have its original tag that says made in Japan. It's one of those hard plushies with the wires in them so you can bend them and um, have them staged however you like. And they're so stinking kitschy and cute and adorbs. I don't know what that is. Sticker residue. Of course. He's got sticker residue on his hat. That he's cute. 
And then I thought this piece was neat. Now it is not marked at all. It doesn't have anything on it. So I don't, I might have to do a Google image search and see if anything comes up. But I just thought this was a neat piece of art. It's like a bear. It, it feels like a guitar pick is what this plastic feels like. You know what guitar picks feel like? That's what this piece of plastic feels like. But it's carved into a bear on a rock. So I just thought that was really, really neat, cool piece of art. And it didn't weigh a whole lot. So why not stick it in the cart? And then I found this troll. It's a lucky troll. It is a plushy. Um, I would say probably from the 80s or 90s. It doesn't say on its tag anymore or well, ever, any, I guess. It doesn't say a date on there. But it's, you know, kind of like the puff -a lump material. So cute. So he'll get lotted up with the trolls. How fun. <laughs> And then Greg was a sweetie pie and gave me this. I love it so much. It's not an old one. I would say he's probably from the 90s. I would say he's so stinking cute. My um, kids' grandfather uh, gave me a bunch of these when I was like 17, going just right after I had my children um he gave me a bunch of these pixies like in the early 2000s that were from the 90s and that's what this kind of looks like so that's what I think he's from but I don't know his legs are bendable you can put him he make him a knee hugger or a shelf sitter but isn't he cute <laughs> and then this I found it is just a flocked um plastic boot I thought this would look cute with a pixie inside. He's too big. He doesn't fit in there. He's too big, but. I thought that was cute. I did find this. I love the colors of this. Somebody, um, there we go. Somebody crocheted that. Isn't that neat? And then stuck it in a dream catcher with all the ribbons and beads and just fun little things. And I just think that would be really cute hanging up in a corner in your house. If you like colors of the rainbow like me. And then I did get my mother which she's going to have to tell me which one she wants. And if she doesn't, then I'll just lot them in the lot. Um, but I know that she likes these type of books. Um, I thought I picked up more of these, but I guess I didn't. First, I'll just show you these. These are the wipe, the books that are wipeable. There's three of them here. They're the Whitman, see? And they're stitched together. It's like the wipeable paper. Like the plasticky paper, kind of. I just thought they were stinking cute and adorable. So I picked those ones up and then a whole stack of the like to tell -a -tells and books like that. This one is a tale of a sale, ABCs. Look at the animals. How fun. So that one, the tortoise and the hare. Rockabye Baby, Rackety Boom, Donald's Camping Trip. These are this is a pop up book. Mickey's Fishing Trip, another pop up book. Whoa, Joey, have you seen that giraffe hat? Look how kitschy. I love it. Big and little are not the same. Learning to count with 12 elves. Oh, so stinking adorable. Emma's sleepover party. A circus moose. Or circus mouse, not moose. Circus mouse. 
so messy. Benji and Benji and G. Oh my gosh, it's an anthropomorphic train. Love it. And then baby animals. So I picked those up for my mother because she likes old books like that. Now on to the second sack. Hopefully we'll get through this sack a little bit quicker. There's another dream pet. I didn't even take this one out of the bag. This one is actually a dream pet. It says on its tag right there. So adorable poodle. Absolutely love, love, love this poodle. She's going to be a hard one for me to part with. <laughs> I love her so much. And, ooh, this is another piece I love. I found some really cool things this time. Like really kitschy, fun, fun, fun things. It was a good day. It is a chalkware piece. It's anthropomorphic corn. It's corn. <laughs> and it's anthropomorphic in its little overalls and its little pitchfork in really good condition. No chips, cracks, or breakages. So I love, love, love this chalkware piece. I will be keeping this piece and it will be going with my collection. Um, I have a bunch of chalkware faces different vegetables and fruits and stuff I need to get hung up on my wall. And so he's going to be staying with me, getting hung up. And then I picked up this brand new old stock. I don't know when it's from. I would say probably the 90s. Um, by looking at the graphics, I don't know. There, It is lawn discs. I looked these up on eBay. They sell for decent money. This is brand new, never been opened. So I thought this would be perfect with spring and summer coming up. I did pick up my mom two other little books because she collects these tiny little miniature books. And so I did find two in the bins. So I'm going to be giving those to her as well. More trolls. That one is not a Russ. That one might be a dam. Yep, it's, this is a dam. It's marked dam. D-A-M on the bottom. That's a Russ. It says Russ on the bottom of it. And more trolls. This one's missing his hair, but it's in the bag. I just got to glue it back on. He's a big guy. He's a big one. He's Russ as well. And then, like I said, his hair's somewhere in here. A bride, a bride troll and an East, Easter bunny troll. I did pick up a few things I found for the junk jar, which is awesome. I look at, I want to show you a couple of these buttons. I love nerds and it's a Smurf pin, <laughs> like a button. And then uh, come to the dark side. We have cookies. <laughs> I'm awesome. What's your excuse? How fun. And then there, I did find some of these at the bottom of the bins. Only two of them. They're um, little like cuffling type things, I think. That one and then that one. So I'm just going to stick those in there too. And then this weirdo man. He's like bendable, but look, he's weird looking. So I'm gonna stick him in there. And I found some kitschy glass candies in the bag. I love finding these glass candies. 
They're a lot of fun, and look how cute that they are. They're made out of glass. Oh, wait. These are not glass. These are plastic. They felt like glass in the, in the baggie, but no, they're plastic. So, I don't know. He already showered. And then, I don't know what this goes to. Look, see, it's... It's kind of got a lip and it's got a hole through it. So I'm like, was this like a base of a light? Did a lamp or something go through here? I don't know, but isn't that pretty? It's a really pretty, pretty piece of blue cobalt blue glass. <laughs> I like it. Another troll. Another troll. Ooh, that one's got creepy eyeballs. Really creepy eyeballs. This iron, which is cool. A little kid's iron. Um, Wolverine toy made in the USA. I have no idea, but I thought that was cool. A little flocked vintage snowman or, or, I mean, not snowman, Santa Claus ornament. He's got like the Chanel pipe cleaner beard. He's all flocked. I stuck him in there. Oh, here's the hair to the missing, to the troll that was missing it. See, I'm going to have to glue it back on. That one's a damn too, I think. Yep. What's, it does say date on there. 1985. I might have to look these damn ones up. Because the damn ones sell. Um, they're more collectible than the rest ones. So I might have to look them up. Oh, this one's got rosy cheeks. Stinking cute. More, more, more trolls. I told you I found a bunch of trolls. A whole bunch. This piece is another one of my favorite pieces that I found. Um, I didn't even notice that it had a metal flower frog until after I stuck it in my cart. I picked it up because I thought it was a really neat piece of pottery. Plus, it's signed on the back. So, I'm going to have to look this... Um, piece of pottery up to see if I can find any information about it but as you can see it does have the metal flower frog inside of it so I thought that was super cool super neat I stuck this doll in there because I thought she was neat she's got like a wooden base and she's just unique looking holding her fan and I just thought she was a neat doll right and she cool and no markings or anything like that on her, but I thought that she was cool. And then I found this really awesome, awesome um, vintage pocket knife. It's got carvings on it. Oh, here, there you can see it's got like ships and stuff. And then on the other side, it over it's in foam it's in a foam case by the way too this is foam um on the other side it's got an elephant and it's marked thailand it's got an elephant and then in the metal it says thailand right there so i just thought that was a really cool pocket knife i don't know anything about knives but hey in the bins it didn't weigh very much so why not right why not? And then I picked up... Now, let me hook her... Her leg came undone here. Let me hook her leg back in here really quickly. Come on. These are super cool. These are kitschy. I don't know how old they are, um, but they have faces. And you know, if you've been following me for a while, that I like faces. 
Oh, come on. Why can't I get this back on there now? Probably because I bent it. Well, anyways, there's two of them. This one, I got to get the leg back on. This one is on deck, so I will show you this one. They're little people made out of ornaments, like wires and stuff, and they got faces. Come on. <laughs> it's got faces. Aren't they neat? They're ornaments. This one's like bent. Why is it bent like that? I don't know. I'll have to work with them here after a bit, but I thought those were cool. They don't weigh anything, and I didn't want to leave them behind. And then the last thing that I picked up was a whole treasure bag full of stuff. So I will quickly go through this. Um, I might actually end up splitting this in two treasure bags because there's so much stuff. And there's stuff over here that I showed you that I want to add to. So, um... Vintage bingo cards and whatever cardboard cards these, whatever game these go to. I just thought they were really neat. Oops, they're upside down. A whole stack of vintage bingo cards, the cardboard cards. This little stinking cute crocheted clown I thought was adorable. This autographs book, it zips up got a zipper so you can zip it isn't that neat and it's got all these pages wait what's that school day memories awesome and it's never been autographed in so it's completely empty you can put whatever you want in there this stinking cute adorable kitty clutch like holds your little lipstick or whatever you want it to hold it says TikTok. So I have no idea. I just thought it was stinking cute and adorable. This is neat. Welcome guests. It's an old, old, like a little picture type thing. And here, let me scroll in. It's so cool. The frame is wood. So the frame is awesome itself. And then the image on the inside with the lady in the house and then the poem. Awesome. Super cool. Um, this is Rainbow Bride's friend, Starbright from 1983. Loving it. A elephant, really cute elephant ornament. A globe. It was on that wood stand, but I took it off that wood stand because the wood stand was really crappy. And I didn't want to leave the globe behind because it's neat. I don't know what it's made out of, but it's super cool. So I was like, I'll put it in a treasure bag. A stained glass horse. Vintage um, barrette or hair piece, I guess you'd say. You put a put it in your hair back in the day. A little decorative star, a metal star, an eel skin coin purse. It is made out of eel skin. It said. Clutch. I can't remember what these are, but they are something. I'm sure you'll let me know in the comments below. They're flocked. They are on some show, and I cannot remember for the life of me what it's called. But I stuck those in there. I stuck this turtle in there. He's got like a hard plastic shell, but the rest of him's rubber. I thought that was a neat, unique piece. This little mouse, it's like furry and cute. And, a <laughs> and 
And then the last thing in the treasure bag is Yoda. Is a little Yoda. I thought that was fun. So that is my haul, you guys. <laughs> I don't think I did too bad for only spending $24. What do you guys think? I had such a fun day finding all the fun kitschy treasures. Comment below and let me know what your favorite thing was that I found this time out of the Goodwill bins. And as always, if there is anything that you guys see and that you're interested in, um, you can always send me an email. My email is junktobeloved at gmail.com. All lowercase letters, no spaces. The link is also in the description below as well. And um, I can let you know if I will sell it now outright or if it will be available in a live sale. Um, I also list on eBay and Facebook Marketplace. Those links will also be in the description below as well too. But most of everything that you see me pick up will be available in my live sales. I host my live sales right here on my YouTube channel every Sunday evening at 6 p.m. Central Time. So you want to make sure right now you go hit that bell button and subscribe. That way you're notified every time I go live and when I post a new video. Because sometimes I'll just feel like having a pop-up random live sale throughout the week and those are a lot of fun you don't want to miss those so hit that bell button right now go subscribe that way you get notified when i go live and when i post new videos so that is it guys i hope you enjoyed the haul i got a lot of fun things and as always don't forget to like share and subscribe and until next time keep smiling and happy picking bye guys we'll see you next time hey guys i hope you enjoyed the video Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, keep smiling and happy picking.